and Claymore is back online, so let's get some contracts. So what have we got? Um, hot landing is a battle. Repossession is a battle. Eviction, destroy base in a polar environment. With salvage 4 of 18. That's a battle. I think we'll do this one. Settling a grudge. Within the last three months, the local pirate organisation has struck our facilities, personnel and supply convoys over half a dozen times. The coalition leadership would like to even the score. We'd like to hire you to find the pirate lance and destroy it to demonstrate we're not without military resources on Smithen. Darius says if they want to show military strength here in Smithen, we can do that for them. That's fine. And we will do some salvage because we've got plenty of money. Okay. Right. So this is all about getting experience for the mech warriors who need it. Um, and we'll bring Behemoth in. But you know, we'll bring Glitch in. Because she's got um, multi-target. Okay. Deploy. Okay, begin mission. Let's go. Command interface initiated. Oh, more people on stream. Hello, everybody. You've arrived at the location our employer specified, Commander. Move forward, acquire a target lance, and light them up. Keep an eye out for reinforcements. I get the impression these folks are a bit twitchy. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got enemy down there, and reinforcements probably going to come from that direction. Let's get going. Heading out. Mm-hmm. Ah. Affirmative. Okay, so they must be strung out in line like that. Ah, oh, it's a light mech. To be fair though, I do have room for some light mechs. And it would be nice to have a light lance, because at the moment we've effectively got heavy lance and a medium lance. Go over here and find out what this is, and then blow it to bits. It's a Jenna with an enormous amount of evasion. Sure, why not? All weapons committed. That being out of action for a thousand days or whatever it was, 120 days really. What can I do stinted, for you? Um, Ready for orders. Like development as a pilot. On it. Right, sensor lock. Bing. Got a lock. A lot of armor. Ooh, Enemy they have a heavy. With that sound of a lot of armor. what that is. Interesting. Damage minimal. That might be worth Waiting on uh, you, Commander. On. Renegade has an interesting accent. Here we go. Right. It's the Jenna nearly out of action. I think I hit something. He's a bit too hot. Yeah. A light mech and a heavy mech. Oh, no, there we go. There's a medium as well. Good. Okay. 
now. Okay, so they've got Enemy medium and a heavy. Destroyed. I wonder what the heavy is. I hear ya. That's interesting. Don't need to tell me twice. That is a shadow hawk. This should be good. That's fine. Do with another shadow hawk. Oh, it's a catapult. Ooh, okay. That would be nice to have. Is that it? I'm barely scratched, Commander. Okay, well let's take out the shadow hawk and then see if we can leg the catapult. Or, you know, kill the pilot. One of the two. Pulling the trigger, mm-hmm. Receiving you. On my way. Okay. Oh. Contacts inbound. I'd appreciate knowing that before they shot missiles at me, Darius, but eh. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. Okay. do anything so that means they've got at least uh -huh. one of their heavy mech. Ooh, we could make bank in terms of salvage. to have a heavy lance that was like three dragons and a catapult and that'd be pretty cool. Take this. Just look good, you mm -hmm. know. Right, and now battle fly. Orders. Can heading out. Hopefully knock it over. Locking on target. Down. Okay, cool. Okay. That's a trebuchet. It's too many LRMs for it to be anything other than You got trebuchet. nothing, you hear me? Oof. And there's more where that came from. 
from? That Shadowhawk has now got no weapons, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, I've got an SRM too, not for long. Firing everything. There we go. I got him. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to precision strike the catapult after it's moved and knock it down into uh, initiative step one. Uh, which will then, I hope, mean that I can get my entire lance to shoot it. Yes, Commander. Strike legs or head uh, legs. <laughs> that wasn't very successful at hitting the legs, but there we go. Okay, so we've got a locust. Which looks like the variant with this armor. This is a trebuchet. It has to be. There's no other medium mech with that many LRMs, I think. Not stock, anyway. I hear ya! Right. I read you, Commander. Moving out! Okay, I think we can do two precision strikes. 5% head, 30%. Well, let's try the head. Firing everything I've got! Something up there in the heavy range. Yeah. Location confirmed. I think we'll just try and leg it now. Firing at him. But it doesn't appear to be doing very much. Standing by. Coordinates received. Confirmed. Okay. And then claim more. And we'll precision strike and we'll go for the leg. Not Critical quite a knockdown, detected. annoyingly. Should be able to knock it down next turn there. Okay, where's the locust going? All the way around. He's trying to get behind us. That's not a trebuchet. It's going to work this way. It's okay. Damage is light. Okay. Only one black knight, maybe. Hmm. What can I do for you? There's a fair few uh, heavy mechs that mount PPCs, but I can't remember which ones they are. Mm -hmm. On my way. I know the black knight's got one. I know the catapult K2's got two. So. Got it. Ooh, right back destroyed. Good. Okay. 
to going down yeah, and critical hit. taking a pilot injury. Should mean that right I can get here. Mm -hmm. Renegade and Bathcry to work on the left leg. If we can do that, might be able to pick up a catapult. Which should be good. Here goes everything. That's not a good start though. Scored a critical hit. Mm. What's up, boss? I want to try and keep the catapult alive, not blow its centre torso to tiny little pieces. Target confirmed. Ooh, dear me. Not a happy catapult. Not even a little bit. Maybe I could punch it. Don't think that'll help. Don't think that'll help at all. Reinforcement lance hasn't actually done very much. There we go, trebuchet. The left arm on the uh, quick draw seems to really enjoy getting damaged. Okay. All weapons committed. The slightest centre torso hit will just turn it into tiny little chunks. Enemy mech. Critical damage that isn't good. Detected. So we've got to be really careful. Another PPC. That's got to be a black knight. Two large lasers and a PPC. Got to be. Nice try. Waiting for orders. All weapons are go. Please hit the leg. Please. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Really careful. I think we can do it if we um, if we really focus. Whoops! Really focus on getting around to its left-hand side. But that one was a bad one right there. But uh, ooh, minimum range. Right, if we go over here, yeah, that's better. Okay. Affirmative. And then we'll swap LRMs with the trebuchet. Confirm. Pants. That's a kill, Commander. Oh well. Commander. Location confirmed. Worth a try. Maybe we can pick up some salvage from the uh, other heavy mech. Got it. Okay, I'm going to get Claymore to hunt down the locust. I could sense a rocket, but... Good to go! Moving out! Okay. Take this! 
Again, I'm going to save up my precision strike resolve and stuff to try and attempt Moving. to take out the heavy with as little damage as possible. Given what happened last time. Here we go. I'm not huge confident. Waiting for orders. There we go. Roger that. That's some good tea. Target acquired. And a knockdown. Okay, so that's the second injury on the trebuchet. Locus is going to do. Oh, it's going to come and punch me. It's got a laser and. Yeah, SRMs or similar. Excellent, okay. Right. Melee attack from Claymore onto the Locust. Engaging physical attack. Basically, just completely obliterating its entire left hand Enemy side. Mech. Critical damage detected. Wink. And up stands the trebuchet. On you, Commander. Go this way. It's going to be a pain in the bum to get to that heavy mech. Okay, that's one. Want some more, huh? What's the heavy going to do? Oh, it's a black knight. I was right. Armor, that Commander. Would be good. Commander. I doubt I'd be able to, but confirmed. Mm, try it with the Renegade. Why not? Why not? Let's give it a go. Two percent chance. Lock in target. Commander. On the move. Locked up rear arm. Okay. The Black Knight is just carries a ridiculous amount of energy weapons. So so so. Pretty heavy as well, I think it's 75 tons. It's fairly close to an assault in terms of weight. Um, the amount of damage you can put out if it hits is frightening. Okay. Let's go and beat up the locust again. Okay, right arm destroyed, right torso destroyed, pilot injured. Enemy mech, critical damage Not dead, though. detected. Good to go. Which is interesting. On my way. Dear me. Glitch has got problems on the left hand side of her mech. Commencing alpha strike. Good. Knocked down again. Left leg destroyed. Pilot incapacitated. Nice, okay. So we've got most of a trebuchet. At the very uh, least. Copy. So that can that'll round out our medium lance nicely. Um, let's finish off this I'm on my way. Locust. Uh, go. 
Another one for the kill board. What's up, boss? And let's put some LRMs into the black light. Next. Not a great deal of damage, but there we go. Internal damage. Internal damage on almost all my mechs now. Um, okay. It's time for some more precision shooting. Shoot the legs. Great. One head hit coming right up. Um, okay. I'm going to put um, Glitch Got it. over here. So she's sort of under the arc of fire, under the angle of fire of the Black Knight next to her. Reporting. And Location might be able confirmed. To do something. Precision shot. If we're lucky. Mm, just Fire now. Okay, good. So the legs damaged. That was a critical hit. Ready for orders. And then let's try and sneak the battle cry up now. Got it. If we're lucky, we can get the small lasers into play. I copy. Very close to knocking out the leg. That's bad. I'm losing weapons, Commander. What weapon is that? Laser? Waiting for orders. Yep. Laser has been lost. Okay. Let's get some precision striking then with Glitch, who's got a pretty good hit chance. There we go, that down. That's a critical hit. Knocks it down. A copy. That means that we should be alright in terms of Okay, in the left leg. Uh, and that's the left leg poking out over there. Fifteen percent hit chance. Receiving you. Okay. Firing on top. That hit something good. That better not be. This better not be a repeat of what happened with the catapult. All weapons committed. Okay, okay, that's good. It's badly banged up. What's it going to do? Ooh. Internal damage. Oh wow, okay. I think we get automatic go. um cool shots against it now. Moving to position. I'm gonna precision strike it anyway. Yep. Here we go. Right, also destroyed. Yes, nice. Enemy okay. down. Excellent work, Commander. That should send the appropriate message. 
Mission successful. Okay. Uh, contract payment increased by 20%, and Lady Arano continues to declare that we are a critical part of the restoration effort. However, three of our mechs um, badly banged up, and a reasonable amount of XP, though. That's good. Right. Oh, wow. We cope. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're going to get the Black Knight to replace the Quick Draw. Absolutely, yes, we are. And then we're going to get 11 extra random pieces of salvage, and if we're really lucky, we'll get some cool mech bits. Ah, oh, okay, we've got another piece of trebuchet, a piece of catapult, and a piece of Shadowhawk, so we get to complete a Shadowhawk. But the Black Knight I'm very excited about. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to unearth secrets, the Rimward Frontier. What's this? Okay, everybody, our shiny new codebreaker just finished chewing through the encryption on the Argo's data archive. Shall I go ahead and open it? Use your own initiative, Doctor. You don't need my permission. Then without further ado... Huh. Well, looks like a map archive. Oh, which is about what you'd expect on a navigation computer. No surprises there. I'm seeing a lot of periphery territories. Outworlds Alliance, Rimworlds Republic, Oberon Confederation, but... Oh, hello, what's this? Star map on a blue background fills your view screen. The margins are dense with annotations and symbols. This isn't a civilian map, it's SLDF. Look at the symbols. Refueling stations, no-fly zones, even military installations, all laid out and annotated, complete with identifier codes where applicable. Uh, it looks like we have more of them. Nobody talks about this outside of this room. We keep this find a secret. Understand? Caution is warranted, yes. Lady Arana will need to be informed, but otherwise the existence of these maps will be shared only on a need-to-know basis. We shouldn't be talking about this at all. I shouldn't have to tell you what the great houses would do to get their hands on something like this. And even if they don't, bad things happen to people who mess around with lost tech. I've heard stories. Hang on a second, I've got something. SLDF Outpost Castle. The designation reads Nautilus. Uh, it's on Artru, deep inside Directorate Space, right on the edge of the Torian border. On the map, it's in a no-fly zone, marked strictly off-limits to civilian craft. Nothing like that has ever been discovered on Artru. Trust me, I grew up there. I'd know. This could be a huge find. The SLDF built outpost castles to keep periphery worlds in line, and they stocked them accordingly. That means lost tech, and lots of it. There could even be an intact memory core for us to discover. Who cares about memory cores? If there's really an outpost castle out there in Artru, that means battle mechs. The rarest, most expensive mechs you could ever imagine. Oh, and by weapons, boss. Weapons the likes of which you've never seen. You ever heard of a Gauss rifle? From what I've read, those babies could punch a hole clean through an assault mech without breaking a sweat. And pulse lasers, the kind that could slag a mountain of armour in the blink of an eye. If what you've just said is true, if an intact Star League era armoury is waiting for us on Artru, and this could change everything. We could punch through the Directorate's defences in spite of their unexpected strength. With an SLDF arsenal at our disposal, there'd be nothing we couldn't do. We must pursue this, Commander McLeod. Lady Arana will say the same. We'll go to our true, but I expect a share of whatever we find in the armoury. Lord Madeira, Commander, please. Chasing Lost Tech is a bad idea. Capital B, capital I. If our friends and neighbours don't kill us to take it, someone will push the wrong button and blow us all up. Again, I have stories. Let me be abundantly clear. If there is a Star League era castle waiting for us on Artru, we will claim what's inside. Not out of avarice, but out of necessity. Advancing on the Directorate's core systems with our existing army would be like marching headlong into an abattoir. We could succeed, yes, but our losses would be devastatingly high, as would yours. We will follow this lead. Superstitions be damned. Sounds like it's settled then. We're going to Artru. Very good. I'll contact Lady Arano. She'll need time to prepare the recovery effort. Carry on with your business, Commander. Take contracts, fight, and grow stronger. Soon enough, we will all venture into the unknown. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. The Black Knight 6KNT is a dedicated energy weapon platform. You can shell out hellish damage with its beams and shrug off a lot of damage. Just gotta make sure to keep its heat in check. That mech you wanted? 
and the Shadowhawk 2H is the perfect example of a jack of all trades. It supports weaponry for all ranges, has respectable speed and jump capability, and mounts decent armour. This comes at the cost of excelling at nothing in particular. Okay. Right then. So first of all, we're going to scrap the quick draw and replace it with the Black Knight. Then we're going to put the Shadowhawk in as... This is going to be in Cloud 7. Max the armour. Jump jets. One, two, three, four, five. Weapons. AC5. And AC5 ammo. Laser wise. Medium laser plus no, medium laser. That gives us. Mm, 1.19 tons remaining. Could drop some of the armour down a bit, get an extra ton, but what would we do with it? Two tons. Call it three if we remove a jump jet. Let's remove a jump jet and fiddle around with it. Two tons remaining. So we could put in a SRM two. Let's do that. Put some SRM on there. Okay. Yeah, all right, that's fine. So firepower's all right. Eighty six. Got some jump. Okay. Right. And okay. then with a cloud 8, which is the Centurion, we've got a full medium lance now. It's brilliant. Um, we'll get rid of the AC20 because that was just a silly experiment. Put an AC5 in instead. And we want AC5 ammo. And we will also want another medium laser. And some jump jets. One. Two, three, four. Gives us three and a half tons. So we could do SRM four. Yeah. With a SRM ammo. And heatsink is a ton. But if we knock down some of the Armor. Right. We'll put another heat sink in. Okay. Okay. Now then. Refit material two. It's meeting missing a medium laser. Fit the Black Knight. First of all, Max Armor, absolutely. And okay, 25 tons. Wow, 25 tons. Okay. We will fit a PPC and then large laser and we will put some heat sinks in one two three four five six heat sinks to start with and then one two so that firepower is now 145 it's not bad not bad and we really want some more heat sinks, so one, two, three, four, five heat sinks. What's that? Alpha strike is 77 heat. Hmm. 
because the medium lasers do heat 12. I wonder if it might be better to just replace the large laser with mediums. Perhaps not. Where are the PPCs? Seven tons each. I wonder if we can do that. A couple of PPCs instead. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Two PPCs. Potential damage of 105. Or decisions, decisions, just all the medium lasers. Which I have a feeling is probably going to be the better option, actually. What's that then? Heat efficiency... Ah, oh, wait, well, okay, we can alpha strike every turn. <laughs> Firepower, 175. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, so not fantastic in terms of range. Maximum range 270 meters, optimal 180. But heck of a lot of damage. Really quality armor, 1400 armor, and yeah, 95 melee damage. Yeah, okay. Right, I'll get it. This okay, game. let's just manage the tasks. So. I'm going to put my cloud, two and three and one right at the top. Okay, and I think we will leave it there. Um, so, actually I'll just, just have a quick check of the uh, Ready for, waiting uh, 2400 for XP. It's not quite enough to level up. Um, Claymore, 3500. She is going to get guts, because I want to get the... Um, Heat sink for Claymore, coolant vent. Um, on the other hand, gunnery is important. Training complete. Waiting for, Waiting for orders. Glitch. Orders. Can't level up yet. Renegade. Right here. Ooh, 3,120. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what have we got? We've got two of those. Let's go for piloting. And also... Bulwark? No, multi-target, I think. Well, Mech warrior training start with the piloting, because it gives us the extra um, evasion, and then we can get, um, or maybe, no, we'll probably go for gunnery next. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the situation. Financial report is in 10 days, our mechs will all be sorted in 30 days, but most importantly our Heavy Lance will be done in 18. We are, contract-wise, pretty okay on Smithon. There's plenty of stuff to do here, um, so that's good. And we're on track. Everything's going all right. Everybody's healthy. The Argo's being rebuilt. It's all good. Thank you very much for coming to this extended stream. Um, I may well split this video into two. Don't know yet. Um, in which case... Thank you very much indeed for watching both parts, and I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Please do you know, like and subscribe if you like my stuff, and if you do subscribe, don't forget to press the little bell and get a notification when I upload videos, which is usually around about 6 o'clock um, GMT, Monday to Friday, um, and I will see you all tomorrow for some MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries. Thank you very much for coming. hope you have a lovely day.